This video is copyright protected, which is detailed on the last slide. The video you are watching will guide you through the setup and basic calibration procedures for your Liquid Max Deluxe Control. The chart on the screen shows the recommended default calibrations. Ensure that the control is unlocked with the key by turning it counterclockwise. The engine should be off and both switches should be in the up position to the on and run positions. Hold the blast button down for one second until the red light illuminates. Before we begin with the calibration settings, ensure that the control is in agriculture mode. Rotate the selector over to mode select and use the up or down arrows to ensure ag is selected on the display. Let's begin by placing the knob selector to the upper left hand corner that reads flow cal. This position is used to calibrate the flow meter for accurate liquid measurement. Enter the micro track liquid cal number printed on a flow meter tag. Rotate the selector to min flow. The purpose of this calibration setting is to prevent the system from applying below the recommended minimum flow rate for the nozzles. Enter the minimum flow rate in gallons per minute based on the nozzles being used for the entire section width of the applicator. Do not enter the target flow of your spray application. The system will not apply at a rate lower than this value when spraying an auto. The warning LED will flash whenever the system is applying at minimum flow rate, but the audible alarm will not sound. The default value is zero. Rotate the selector down to adjust rate. In auto control with rate selected, pressing plus or minus will change the target rate by the amount entered for the adjust rate. This allows the operator to make changes to the target rate quickly. The default value is 5. Rotate the selector down to target rate. Selecting target rate displays the desired application rate in these units. Lane mode, gallons per lane mile. Ag mode, gallons per acre. Dust mode, gallons per square yard. And turf mode, gallons per 1,000 square feet. The default value is 30 gallons per acre. This is the application rate that the console will lock onto when operating an auto. The warning LED will flash and an audible alarm will sound if enabled whenever the actual application rate is more than 10% from target rate. Rotate the selector over to test speed. Choose the value to be used for simulating speed for performing pre-application system checkout. The console will use this speed for simulating spraying operations. The test speed value is only used while in calibration mode. Once cal is exited, the test speed value is reset to zero. Rotate the selector up to speed cal. The speed cal is factory calibrated for use with an Astro GPS speed sensor. The default value is 0.189. Rotate the selector up to width cal. This displays the section width in inches for the section selected. Unused sections must be set to zero. To adjust a particular section, turn that section switch on and all others off. If no sections are turned on, it will display no boom to remind the user to turn a section on. The system must be in run to display section numbers. Repeat this procedure for each section. Enter a value of zero for any unused sections. Your working width per section will be the number of nozzles on the section times the nozzle spacing in inches. The Liquimax center boom has eight nozzles spaced 12 inches apart. Eight times 12 equals 96. And the side sprayers spray 96 inches on each side. Don't forget to press and hold the blast button 
until the red LED light turns off. This will save all the settings that you have just established. This completes the basic calibration procedures. We hope that this instructional video has helped you become more comfortable with the Liquid Max console. Thank you for watching. The following are registered or unregistered trademarks of Douglas Dynamics LLC, Snow X, and Liquimax.